Hey guys, I'm LB, and we're gonna check out Chariots Chariots by Terminated, who says that this is their first map and they would like constructive criticism. Right. So, the description says, Made in B-Mod, this test uses a funnel and stairs as primary puzzle elements. Partially inspired by one of Quentin's experimental maps, this test uses no glitches or ninja moves, including the cube grading glitch. Thank you to all of those who have helped me. In no particular order, Quentin, Kazan Avenger, Paper, Demon Arisen, Hanky Miller 13, Mustache, and LB. Well, I'm glad I inspired you. This is my first ever Portal 2 test chamber. I have put blood, sweat, tears, and the asbestos from all the aperture funnels I've been in into this map. <laughs> I've been working on this since December of 2017, and it has gone through many, many changes. Please give me constructive feedback. Song used, Double Drift by Kevin McCloud. Right. Good old royalty-free Kevin McCloud. Let's go check out the map. Ooh, we got circular holes. Right. Interesting. So where is Dot located at, exactly? Hmm. Oh, Dot's up there! Ooh. I wonder what these stairs are for, though. Hmm. So that's how we're gonna funnel something across to there, I imagine. Interesting. Looks like there's not much to do up here, so we'll just... just toss these downstairs for now. And we will fizzle them at our leisure. And this drops a cube right through the circular hole. Neat. And we get the funnel right away. Huh. Whatever might these stairs be for, I wonder. Strange. Well, we can't really do much from here. Whether or not we have the stairs. We can't jump into the funnel, we can't put any objects into the funnel with these stairs. I'm honestly not sure what the stairs are for, but I guess we will find out. Square is controlled by that. So we can go up here and access the funnel this way, right? Yep. This music sounds a little bit like it's mini music, almost. <laughs> Although most of Kevin McCloud's music sounds that way. So this gets up... this gets us up here. What's going on with this? So we need Moon to activate the exit, and then we also need that? Why wasn't that just directly can- why wasn't Moon just directly on the exit? I'm a bit confused about that, honestly. Where is Moon, though? Huh. Also, what the heck is this upper area about? And did the music just stop? Is it not set to loop? Strange. Hmm. What is this upper area for? How strange. You can get up and around the fizzler this way, apparently. So if I do this, I can get the cube up there and then get it out of here? Okay. Take the funnel, and head back upstairs. Right, so now we can do this. We can drop in here with the cube, and take it out, right? Yeah, that's what it seems like to me. Hmm. Hopefully what I'm about to do doesn't clear my portal. Oh right, that is- that is Moon. Wait, but there's only one cube in the map, right? What? 
Is this... does this turn itself on permanently, maybe? Maybe it's just a one-time thing? Right, okay. That doesn't work. Gotcha. So what is the deal with these stairs? These aren't supposed to launch the queue, right? Oh. Uh, that... that's a physics interaction that I'm not a fan of, if that's intended. If it's intended. Hmm. Well, it says it doesn't need any glitches or ninja moves. Hmm. I would consider this a glitch, honestly, because... It gives it way more momentum than it actually should have been getting. Oh, come on now. Come on! What else would we do, though? I suppose I could do something like that, right? That's a thought. Huh. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, so that is permanent. Gotcha. But then what? Uh So I never use those stairs, and I never use these stairs. If these stairs are supposed to launch the cube into the funnel. First of all, like it like I said, I've considered it a bug, and second of all, it's completely random how that physics interaction happens, as the cube will go flying in a different way and it won't get the same height every time. That's generally something you don't want to do. You might want to see if maybe you could use like a trampoline or something. I don't know. Basically, don't use the stairs that way, if that's what you wanted me to do. Yeah, I'm not really sure... ...what else I was supposed to do with this. Huh. Right, as far as the puzzle goes, though... I think this... figuring this out... ...was pretty... pretty easy. So, like, basically... Let's just- let's just restart and show all the steps involved in this... ...in pu this puzzle here, in terms of what I had to do. Come on. Right, so basically, we just run down here, come up here and stand on this button, right? Do that. Come on. Then we head up here. That's where does the music not want to get sped up? Huh, did it get quiet for a second there? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, so once we've done that, then we just do... ...this, right? Now we do this, get the cube up there. Then we just have to redo this part again. And then we head up here, basically. And then we can drop down here and get the cube. Yeah. And then we're out of here. No ninja moves required. And then, because you've put portable walls pretty much everywhere, we can trivially do this. And this is what I- this is something I consider this. Some people have an issue with doing this funnel climbing thing, or light bridge climbing thing. I think it's perfectly intended, though. It's just an oversight that we aren't able to drag and drop portals. We just have to shoot- reshoot the portal every time, and it treats it as moving, basically. Yeah, and then we do this. There you have it. Didn't have to use the stairs, so yeah. I- I think this is gonna need some tweaking. Yeah. Still, for your first puzzle, it's much better- it's much, much better than many first puzzles that I've played. It's definitely way better than any of my first puzzles, so there's that much. But, uh, yeah. Definitely need some tweaking. Anyway. As always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!